Hey there, welcome back. Now let us talk about cursor pagination. Now the concept is dependent on two things. The first thing is there is no page number one, page number two or anything like this. There is if you visit the first page, you have option for next and then next or previous like that. So for example, this next and previous. So we don't have any type of page number, but we just have next and previous. So you can refer this as a cursor. We reach a particular page and then we have a cursor for next as well as for previous. You cannot just jump onto page number one, two, three or according to any value. So this is the first concept. The second concept is about the ordering. By default, we are dependent on ordering of time. So if you remember with our models, we have created this created field, this field which captures time about when we have created this. So by default, they are dependent on this created field, which is important. Now, if you don't have this created field, either you are going to get an error or you can overwrite it. Maybe you don't want to order things according to the time you want to order according to name or maybe any alphabet. So you can do that. So first let us implement this and then talk about the other factors. Uh, here I am going to just copy this one which is cursor pagination. Jump here, get into my pagination.py and then import it. Uh, and here I am going to create a new class. And I am going to call this as C pagination. Copy this one, add it here. Yep. Yeah. And let me remove this one. So here we need to add a value for our page size that how many elements it should load on each page. So the value we need to overwrite is page underscore size. And I'm going to load five, save this one, copy this. And then I need to jump onto my views. Instead of this, I'm going to use my C pagination, scroll up a bit and I also need to import it. Save this one. Jump back here again. Yep. So let me jump here. Send a request. I got an error using cursor pagination, but filter class or ring filter return on none. Now here we need to remove our filter class. The thing is this cursor filter currently have some ordering according to the time which is going to be our dash created that is minus created and we also have this filter backend which is also following this ordering filter ordering field average rating so that means currently we are trying to order things according to this average rating and we are also trying to order things according to our this created time field so that's why we are going to get an error and this was the error so here we need to comment one field. I'm going to comment this one for now. And let me try to test this again. You can see I'm able to access the result. The problem was we were trying to order things according to two different parameters. In this one, we were trying to order according to time. And here we were trying to order according to this average rating. I hope you understand about this error now. Now if I jump here, you can see we got the result and our limit was 5 I guess. Get into pagination, our page size was 5. So I have item 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so I'm currently having item 5. And remember we are accessing the latest element which is according to our minus created which is descending to ascending. From latest to old, new to old you can say. And if I try to override this, I can. Uh, one thing I did change is I changed all the names. So the latest one is 17 and the oldest one is one. I changed the name of each movie or web series so we can understand things better. If I jump here, now you can see this is 17, this is 16, this is 15. So we are in a proper order according to our created field. Uh, let me try to override this. So what I have to do is I can utilize this ordering parameter. I need to use this attribute. Jump back here. 
and here I can define this whichever field I want to prefer for ordering. For now I am going to use created. Remember it was minus created by default I am using this created. And if I send a request now you can see now we are we have this one we have this two we have this three we have four. So we are now following old to new. One thing we need to discuss about is this next and previous. So you can see this is something cursor equals to this value and if I just visit this next here it is loading another result and it has next it has this previous. So I can jump onto these but I don't have any page number or any other value these are cursor values. In the same way we can go to our next field we can go to a previous field we cannot go to a specific page number and that's the thing about cursor pagination. We can definitely change the parameter term instead of cursor we can use something else. So here let me use this cursor query parameter jump here and instead of this cursor by default I can use record and let me just close this one send a value here again send a get request send this one. And now you can see instead of cursor I have record as my parameter. Let me open this page too. This is record as parameter. Send a request. That's it. So that's how you can use this cursor field. Now this works well when you don't want to add pagination. And this also works well when you want to restrict user to visit each page. So there are chances that you have 10 page and you want user to visit one after the other after the other and you have some ordering according to your items your terms and condition and everything. So the best case that I have used this in real life is while having some agreement well, maybe we have agreement for 10 page 12 page and there are many points defined with each page. So maybe first page have current 10 points about the agreement then 10 again then 10 again something like this. So what usually happen is uh, most of us directly just scroll down to the last page or the end page and click as I have read these terms and condition or I accept this agreement. But when we try to use this type of uh, pagination we force user to visit next page they have to click next 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 and next they cannot visit the end page directly. So that's where it's good uh, there are specific use cases for everything that we currently read. So most common is page number pagination and then we have these two. I hope you got the idea and I strongly recommend to utilize this one only. These two have their own use cases while working with client while working with any freelancing project or maybe you are working on some assignment given by any company. That's all for this lecture. I hope this was helpful. There are more stuff that you can customize but I don't think uh, you need them. Uh, pagination is a specific topic that you utilize for specific classes only and I think this was enough. One quick reminder all these pagination class only works with either your view set or your generic view classes. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.